You know, um, the president inserting himself in this thing, he wasn't a fan uh, of, of this measure. And then, you know, we were mentioning at the outset, Jack, that, you know, fewer than 1% of the players, a handful, are, 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 are doing this every week or whatever. Um, is it wise for him to get involved in this? You know, <laughs> I think he rallies his base, uh, and I think that's why he continues to, to, to do it. You know, uh, you know, we all know that the national anthem, you know, is near and dear uh, to, to our country. I mean, and, and even though you know it, it has some roots that we don't, don't necessarily uh, want to identify with. I mean, our country has some roots that sometimes we don't want to necessarily identify with. I think, you know, times like this, we're able to have these, these discussions and conversations, but we have matured as a nation. Uh, we've approved it as a nation. I think there's more opportunities for people these days than there, there was, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago. Uh, then what know, happens at these who, meetings, Jack? I mean, if the owners are talking to the players, I'm sure something comes up where the owners will remind the players, look, whatever you think of this national anthem, I'm telling you, it's, it's killing attendance at our games. Uh, you take a look around at these stadiums, they're not full no matter whether we're playing at home or visiting, uh, you pick your team. Um, and you guys know how, how this is all parceled out money-wise. Have they had those discussions that you know of that just a real meeting about money and the impact it's having? Yeah, the owners had a, me a meeting a few weeks ago, um, and I think they, they spoke with a, a number of, of key players. And, you know, it, it's, it's clear, Neil, players are paid when we have bigger TV contracts. Players are, players are paid more when the league makes more money. Hmm. You know, we have, you know, our collective bargaining agreement has escalated every year because of that. You know, and it's a constant battle over revenue. And so all those things have to be taken into account. You know, if, the rev if revenue numbers are down and viewership is down because of the flag, keep the guys in the locker room. You know, let's, let's, let's start building back the league because, you know, a lot of these players are coming from families and communities where, you know, these, these contracts that they're getting, getting are life-changing, not just Absolutely. for them, but for their entire families, no, for their communities. So, you know, at the end of the day, that's, that's what has bothered me uh, behind this. You know, the NFL changed my life and, and, and made, gave me resources to help my family as well. Uh, and so I don't want to see that go away. Uh, and, and the players need to get over that and need to understand that this is a business at the end of the day. And the National Football League owners have to make good business decisions. Well, you know, you could be a Fox Business anchor. You sound so capitalist here. Uh, 